Welcome to Memorial Stadium and the sea of red in the heartland of Lincoln, Nebraska. An uncommon place and home to an uncommon program with a championship pedigree. This matchup today, part of the lifeblood of the sport. A rivalry game where the results will be remembered for a lifetime. As we'll see a squad from the Big 12, the Colorado Buffaloes. Taking on a team from the Big Ten, the Nebraska Cornhuskers. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. And the Buffaloes will kick it away first. Out of the end zone. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. The Cornhuskers' return team didn't help matters out much there. These rivalry games can really get the blood pumping, and we'll see who can manage their emotions best early. Everyone's been waiting for this game, right? You know both of these teams have had this game circled all the way back to the beginning of the offseason, so you've got to be able to play under control. With passion, with energy, with hatred, because it's a rivalry game, but keep your emotions in check and making sure I'm controlling what I can control. Got three on first down at second and seven. To the air. It's Rayola. Gets it out fast. Now they've got a little room to work with. They're out to the 28 with the first down. Really nice job by quarterback and wide receiver. This is why you do film work. This is why you throw on air all offseason. I know I get zone coverage. I know exactly where I'm breaking. I know exactly where to deliver the football. Nice throw, nice catch. Offense has it at the 28 on first down. They go to the draw. Hard running there. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good game. That's a great looking run there. Nebraska's had such a great lineage at running back. When you think back to the great Roger Craig or Amon Green, Lawrence Phillips, Rex Burkhead, they always seem to be pumping somebody up into the NFL. This guy has a chance to play on Sunday because of his skills. They're going to ride this running back. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good gain before the stop is made. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. They'll go to the ground. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. I think it's really important for this offense. They get this guy going early in the game, and they're doing a nice job of that right now. Remember, he's the kind of running back who gets better as the game goes on. That's a really good omen for this offense, considering his success now early. The Huskers come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Jet sweep to the receiver. I know you want to prepare for every game the same way, but there's just something different about rivalry games, Jesse. It's because, Reese, I think players are aware that games like this define your legacy as a player. Your record in rivalry games is something that people are going to talk about for years and years down the road. You have got to show up and play your best football in games like this. They'll run it from the gun. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And that's a great play by the defensive end. The best athletes on the field play defensive end. You can ask anybody. Yes, I agree, Jesse Reese. See, they agree with me. Same thing. But you watch him get off the football, make the play. That's why you put your athletes there. Here comes the seventh play of this opening drive. They've moved it well, but now facing third down. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. Third and long situation. They try to go screen. I think they were hoping it was going to be a big zone and they could get those offensive linemen down the field, but the defense sniffed it out, forcing the incompletion. And the Huskers will call on their punt team. He ought to be able to use this first punt to pin them deep. 
And the punt goes out of bounds. We'll see where the officials spot it, but they certainly gave them no opportunity for a return. So Colorado's offense will get the ball for the first time. You know, yards figure to be hard to come by through the air, but some quarterbacks, Jesse, just love to go at the star corner. Yeah, and this guy's got confidence. He's not afraid to go at anybody, but he better be careful because this cornerback is one of the best in the nation. One of the best, no doubt. I think they will trust him on defense to make plays. So you got to make a decision. Is my guy good enough to beat him on the outside? I am fascinated by this matchup. And the Buffaloes want to move quickly. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Makes the grab inside the 30. Flying down the left side. Touchdown, Colorado. And once he got loose, it was all over. They can use this first score to sort of set the tone, guys, in this rivalry matchup. Man, doesn't this feel good to come out, score early, get the crowd involved, get the nerves out of the way, Palmer, when you're playing in a big rivalry game? Yeah, and I feel like momentum is always a big thing in any game, but in rivalry games, it's that much more important because everybody is going to feed off that first score now. PAT unit on the field. And the PAT makes it 7-0. This offense prides itself on going after you, and they did with that long touchdown pass to finish off a two-play drive. The kickoff unit about to go to work. He'll start the return inside his five. And good work by the coverage team to knock down the return man. And here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, David. I think up front they got to do a better job getting blocks and establishing this running game. And how easy does football become if you're the more physical team? If you can threaten the run and then, then run play action, it opens up the whole offense at your disposal. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. It's a draw. And they try the middle of this stout defense, and they rise to the challenge. Great team defense on that one play. Everybody doing their job. People winning their one-on-ones. D linemen staying in their gaps. Linebackers and DBs filling. You just can't do it better. Last two runs got a big, fat nothing. Let's see if they try to go up top on third and ten. Looking for a man. It's Rayola. He's got his man. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. They allowed the completion, but this defense was swarming to keep them away from that first down line. Yeah, and you allow completions in those third down situations underneath the sticks, and you come up and rally, and everybody flies to the football. That's great execution by this defense. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. On the return, it's Horn. This guy is a daring punt return man. He's not going to settle for the fair catch. A solid return gets a little bit of ground for the offense. It'll be a draw. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. I tell you, they tried to go draw in the middle of the field. That back had nowhere to go with the football. He was tackled right away for a loss. The Buffaloes headed quickly to the line. Looking to pass on second down. It's on target and complete. And he won't quite get there, but boy, after that pickup, just a few inches to go for the first, an array of possibilities here. Better find the ear plugged. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. He'll keep it himself. Now with a great opportunity as they pick up the first down, they've got it at the 40. 
All right, well, look, I know the defense was feeling real good about their run D coming into this one and how they've been playing up to this point, but finally, David, the offense breaks through and they finally generate something positive on the ground. And I can't tell you how easy it is. When you're going to throw the ball consistently, and I know it, I'm going to pin my ears back, and I'm going to get to the quarterback. It makes life really easy on the defensive line. But when you can have balance, now the defense doesn't know what's coming. They need more of this if they're going to be successful on offense. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. They have had to wear that beat down since the last time these two met, Jesse. And they've been talking about it for a long time. They were absolutely embarrassed. The players, the coaches, the fans. You know, David, coming into this game this time, they want to put out a much better performance. Oh, there's nothing worse. The coaches are riding you all week leading up into this game, reminding you, showing the clips in the locker room. You know you failed. You want to come out and get a great start in this football game early. And just wedges it ahead a bit before he's brought down. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous, and the defense did a good job getting him down there. But they got to do a great job gang tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. Looking to throw at Sanders. Quick strike complete. Now well within striking distance as that third down play gets him a first at the 29. We asked earlier this week, who's your favorite receiver? And of course, he said the open one. But we know who he really wants to go to on third down. The best one. <laughs> I mean, I think the open one, obviously, the politically correct answer. But you want to find the guy that you got that great chemistry with. You know exactly where he's going to be. You got that bond and that trust. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. So first down didn't exactly go according to plan. Let's see what they can dial up on second down. Uh, Reese, I got him right where I want. Okay, I'm going to throw the football. Now I can get back in shotgun. Let's forget the running game stuff. We're going to play a little pitch and catch and see how good that secondary is. Wide receiver coming across in motion. On second down, looking to throw. Oh, goes right through his hands, and he will think about that one for a while. It'll be third down. Man, that's one you expect him to make in his sleep, right? He's one of the better receivers in the entire country. He just dropped that one over the middle of the field. This will be the eighth play of the drive, but a great opportunity for the defense to get off the field. On third and long, he has to throw for it, using the back as a receiver on the screen. And after the tackle, that will bring us to the end of the first quarter. Guys, Colorado has the lead here. Guys, let's have a look at the stats as we've played one period. Now to see if these guys can get back in the game in the second quarter. And they'll have to settle for a field goal try. Never a doubt for this big-footed guy. 49-yard field goal is good. They were able to get a field goal on the board, and now they'll kick it away. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. They are trailing by 10 here, Jesse, but this is the type of team that seems comfortable in an offensive shootout. You got to hold serve at this point, right? You got to drive the field, put some more points up on the board. Yeah, they just scored. You can answer that now and keep this thing close, David. And I think you're used to that as offense. Like, football is so fast-paced now, and you score so quickly, it's not that big of a deal to get down 10. You keep being you, keep being aggressive. Unloads to the wideout. It's complete! That's the kind of play that can really get you going as they get it out to the 36. 
And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And a great job by the linebacker. You could tell starting to crowd the line of scrimmage, get up there in the line of scrimmage, see it, diagnose it, get in the backfield, get the running back on the ground for the tackle for the loss. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. He'll run it again. Finding a way to put that foot in the ground and get it up to the 37-yard line. I know that wasn't a big, huge play, and everybody's not excited, and the fans aren't going crazy, but those are the plays that in the fourth quarter matter a lot. Again, making you tackle my back, making you feel the physicality of the football game throughout so you get tired and get worn down in the fourth quarter. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. It's caught. Good pick up there as he gets the first down, and they'll mark him at the 48th. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. They'll give it to the back. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Looking to pass. It's Rayola. Got his man in the middle. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. Nice job by the receiver on the in route there. And how about the speed after he made his break? He was able to actually separate a little bit from the DB, helping out his QB on that one. Finally, this offense starting to show a little juice. They've got a first and ten. From the shotgun now, here's an inside get. Productive four-yard gain there on the ground as he gets it down to the 31. And that's a really nice play. It's impressive. When it's first down and the defense thinks you might be running the football, you still can line up. You can get some movement at the point of attack and find a little crease for your running back. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. He'll pull it on the read. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. You know, as a quarterback, when you're doing this zone read play, you got to read that defensive end. And if he crashes down hard inside to take the running back away, right away you know now you're keeping the football. Nice job by the quarterback. Here comes third and short from the 27. This defense trying to make them settle for a field goal. They'll try to power their way ahead. And he's brought down after a nice game. Well, the defense is on their heels right now. They're going to have to find a way to stop this guy. When he's got a head of steam, boy, he is hard to bring down. The Cornhuskers will line it up on first and ten. Looking to pass inside the red zone. Gets it out quickly. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. And that's why QBs love their tight ends so much, right? Especially when they're athletic, because they make short throws turn into long gains. Because of his ability after the catch, it's so unique and special. He is dominant in this offense. They'll use the running game on first and goal. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Second and goal for this offense. Barrels ahead. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And with the stuff there, Jesse, on second down, this little third to mid-range, you got two downs. What are you thinking here? Maybe getting your quarterback out on the perimeter and giving him a run-pass option. See if you can get the defense in a bind. This offense has converted twice on third down on this drive. A third time would put him in the end zone. 
Pocket starts to collapse. And the quarterback is knocked down back at the 13. It was once said that greed is good, but that quarterback got a little too greedy, and it was not good. No, it wasn't good, but if we got rid of the football just a second earlier um, and not taken the sack, not gotten the negative play, I think it would have been just fine. I, I don't mind the aggressive play nature to try to throw it and try to take a shot because I know the defense is going to be aggressive on third and short. Here comes the field goal unit. Absolutely perfect. After putting up the field goal, they're set to kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25. He's brought down at the 26. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. They'll run it. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. They're trying to run the football. There's just nowhere to go for the ball carrier inside. He tried to bounce it to the outside. That linebacker way too fast. He met him there and forced the TFO. And the Buffaloes want to crank the tempo. Back to throw. It's Sanders. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Wants to go up top. A little screen to the running back. Defense was not fooled by that screen to the back, and they'll stop him short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. You got to love that on defense. One of the most critical statistics out there is how do you play on third down? How do you prevent the opponent from keeping drives alive? Right there, tackling the catch. You gave up the completion. What do you do? You set up fourth and long. You're going to get the ball back. Go get some water and celebrate. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Tries to find a little more running room on that return, but he'll be stopped at the 36. To the air on first down. Makes the catch. It's Banks. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. And when you get zone coverage and you're running curls and the wide receiver sprints off the ball, you know what happens? That DB starts to bail, and that wide receiver comes back, and it's easy pitch and catch for the offense. The offense will put it in play from the 47 on first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. He's got his man. Well, we knew coming into this game, this offense was going to try and get this receiver involved and get him involved early. So here they are just finding an easy completion. It's not a touchdown, but they just want to get this guy lathered up and get him into a win. Quick tempo, no huddle offense. Second down, clock's running. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. How about getting the foot down on that throw for the big completion? Really nice timing on that play. Receiver working against zone coverage on the perimeter. He's able to settle down, fight back to the football, and pick up the first. The Huskers have it with a first and ten. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Deep shot for the end zone. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. Yeah, that was a good play on the ball. Get his hand up and get the tip, get the deflection. Ball bounces up in the air, falls to the ground. Incomplete pass. The incompletion brings up a second down. They keep attacking through the air. Got it in the middle. It's Fredeau. And he was just a couple of steps away from taking that one even further after the catch. 
Ever since they invented the forward pass, the tight ends have been running the drag and getting the first down. I think it's because the tight ends is so much versatility. You know, they can block and stay in the formation, or they can release and come out. But either way, if the quarterback's patient. And he motors into the end zone. Touchdown, Cornhusker! Yeah, and the passing game comes through, man, and we need more of that in the second half. An extra point away from tying this football game. You trailed a little bit in the first half, stayed calm. If this passing game can continue to heat up, look out in the second half. Lining up to add another. Bangs it through for an extra point. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they finish it by firing one in from the 13 for the score. They got the late touchdown on the board, now about to kick it away and hoping the defense can keep them from answering. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Second and 10 here. To throw it's Sanders throws to the wideout he's got an open man the offense wastes no time getting the timeout call they've got it at the 37 it's first and 10 well, and a nice job working the middle of the field I think it's so important to keep defenses honest and you can't just dink and dunk outside you got to work the middle great job finding this wide receiver over the middle of the field they'll immediately call timeout they cross midfield at the 45 with a first and 10. He's looking to throw it. Quickly complete. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. The offense will quickly use a the timeout. They've got it down to the 32. First and 10 coming. He's going to pass. That's caught. It's Horn. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. Nice completion here to this wide receiver, and you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offense's success. Double time, hustling to the line to stop the clock. We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Phyllis, what an environment there today. All the animosity and flat-out hatred that comes with a good old-fashioned rivalry game on display in that first half. It's been very evenly played through two quarters. Both teams have been physical. Both teams have battled there in the trenches. Neither has been perfect, but they're both right there in this game. And it's kind of the calm before the storm. Each side sort of licking their wounds right now but expect another fight in a phone booth in this second half. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how this rivalry matchup plays out. And the Huskers will kick it away to start the second half. Returner's going to try to see what he can get. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. Starting this third quarter on the ground. Keeps it moving for a three-yard gain to the 24. The sledding has been tough. Scores have been at a premium, Jesse, and every possession seems like it could switch the momentum of the game. Yeah, Reese, for this offense, just feels like they just haven't been as physical. And for this offensive coordinator, David, he's having to go deep into the playbook just to try to generate a first down. Well, and the good thing is there's not a ton of game pressure because the other side's not scoring either. But if you can find that one thing that 
Get that one positive play, and then maybe you get those juices going and something can start to build. Got a lot of running room. The 20. Touchdown, Bucks! And with that one, they jump on top here in the second half. Did not take long to get into the end zone. Now let's see if this gets this offense to hit overdrive. And we may have a situation here. We might have points, more points, and more points. You keep putting drives together like that, that quickly, chewing up that much yardage, defenses are going to have to get something figured out. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. Aggressive play calling on that drive. Just two plays, they get the long touchdown pass to pay it off. The kickoff team out there getting set. Here he comes from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. And here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field. How about that last drive? Just carved him up in the air, David. Yeah, and how about that quarterback? You gave him the ball, and he... What a snag by the defense. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. I tell you what, it puts you in a tough position when you're backed up inside your own 20 trying to come out. But when you're a defense and you can force a turnover and you already set your offense up in scoring position, they are going to be extremely happy, and that offensive coordinator is going to look extremely smart. Short fields make successful offenses just what they want here. Using his legs, it's Hayden. A run up the middle is stuffed for no gain. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. And the Buffaloes are in the hurry up. The play action fake, getting some heat. Here comes the rush, and they've got him wrapped up at the 28. When it's a play-action pass, that quarterback, he really has to sell the fake. He can't tell his offensive lineman's getting beat right away while he's selling the fake. He had no shot. they need is to squander this great field position facing a third and long. Dropping back, it's Sanders. Coming after it. And this is going to be incomplete on third. I'll tell you what, I don't know if the offense was expecting man coverage that time. Third and long in field goal range, you're expecting it to be zone. Instead, they lock them up man-to-man, -man, everybody on an island, everybody won. They get the incompletion now setting up for it. Here comes the field goal unit as they'll try to take the three. And after putting an earlier field goal up, they'll try it again, this time a 45-yarder. Between the uprights, it's good. And that lead grows even bigger. So after the made field goal, they'll kick it away and rely on their defense. And he's coming out of the end zone. Gets it across the 20 to the 21, and not quite what he would have picked up just taking the touchback. The Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. 
The deficit here is just 10 points, David, so a chance to answer here. Plenty of time left in this football game. No need to panic. This offense just has to put a couple drives together. And listen, the defense will get this back and get some stops, Palmer, and get you the football back. And I think, I think here too, David, you have an opportunity to keep the pressure on the opponent. Yeah, they just went down and scored, but you score here, and this game's still tight. You keep their feet to the fire, so an opportunity here to keep applying that pressure. They'll keep it on the ground. Defense there to stop him after a two-yard gain to the 31. He has been in see ball, get ball mode all day, and he is making his mark in this rivalry game, guys. I'll tell you, he was sick and tired of reading about and hearing about the offenses coming into this one. This guy had his own designs and his own plans. He has been balling, David, all over the field. And it's so fun. A rivalry game, you have so much emotion, so much passion. Well, guess what? You can let that out on defense. And defense, you can fly around, make plays, and he's been doing it all game long. Well, that looked like that was going to be a great play on defense. They had tremendous penetration up front. They were able to gobble up the running back, but the quarterback made a better decision, a quick decision, to pull that football and go take off. The Cornhuskers will snap it on first and ten. They'll leave it with him. And that's a very productive first down play and bringing up second and three. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains, and when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. They can really be aggressive after that last play. It's second and three. They think there's room to run to the right here. The Huskers will keep this drive going. I love when players understand situations and they understand where the first down marker is and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. Dropping back, it's Rayola. And he just threw that one away. Safe move, didn't see anything, lived to play another play. This offense has a second down play. After the incompletion, back to the passing game. Reds it inside the 10. Touchdown, Husker! And once he found open space, the band might as well start playing. Quarterbacks love receivers that can get separation, but that amount of separation uh, is a little excessive. I agree, Reese, and I think the defense needs to have a little powwow on the sidelines and talk about what just happened, because that was an absolute busted coverage on the back end. Defense can't keep playing like that. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. They march 78 yards down the field. And the finisher coming courtesy of that touchdown toss from 45 yards out. The kickoff team takes the field to boot this one away. The returner will field it and bring it back. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Grab near the marker. It's Horn. And they'll do more than move the chains. They'll move that thing more than 30 yards down the field before he's finally stopped. How nice is it as a quarterback when you don't have to throw post routes to get great stats? No, I can just throw it quickly to one of the fastest players in the entire nation and let him burn this defense. The Buffaloes in the hurry up. Caught in the backfield, it's Horn. And that will go backwards. A negative play, and that defense on high alert that time. We're trying to throw the screen out to the receiver. The defense, though, having none of that. They are just too physical. They're too fast. They force a negative play. 
Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. Looking to throw at Sanders. He finds his man. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. The defense has their hands full trying to stop this guy in the slot. They're going to have to figure something out to bracket him, try and get two bodies around him, maybe get some safety help as well, because right now they do not have the answer for this guy. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. The short hands, it's hard. He gets the job done on third down. They move the chains. It's at the 37. And that's a really good example of why offensive coordinators script plays. You know the down and distance, and you know which routes can get you to the stick. So there's no wasted time. That coordinator got the play in early to his quarterback, knowing that his players were going to be able to execute. Play action on first down. And he'll chuck it into the cheap seats there and save the down. Nobody getting open there. Now on second down after the incompletion. He's looking to throw. He almost had the pick, and that could have given them a boost. Instead, it'll be third down. Oh, and on defense, you just got to be able to finish that play. That defender had the football in his hands. He's just got to catch it. That should have been an interception. They were on the move, but two straight incompletions had them staring at third and ten. From the gun, wants to pass. And the defense picks up a sack, getting the quarterback down at the 44. And a great job by the defense, dropping in zone coverage, all eyes on the quarterback, taking away the options, and then the, finally the pass rush gets home, gets him on the ground. And the Buffaloes decide to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Making sure there's no return on that one as the punt sails out of bounds. And here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field. Trying to find his man on first down. Going to throw it over the top of the D. And the DB forcing the incomplete pass with the deflection. Great play by the defensive back, showing you his variety of skills. His ability to turn the hips, his speed running downfield, turning his head to locate the football and then swatting it away. You just can't do it better. Now on second down. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Third down conversions, always a huge stat, and they've got a third and long from the 27. Wants to throw, it's Rayola. Throws for the tight end. Picked off! And this safety is a ball hawk. He's a playmaker. Not only have we seen him get involved in the running game and make tackles playing downfield, but he plays the center field position as well as anybody in college football, and you saw it right there. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. They had to punt it away on their last possession, but man, what great field position this time. I mean, this is awesome. Like, last possession didn't go great. Now you're set up in an opportunity to get some points, start thinking about what plays I like, Jesse, as I cross the 50. There are a lot of offensive coordinators out there, David, and in this position, they like to take a shot right away and try and capitalize on this field position. And the Buffaloes will hustle to the line. and throws off the RPO. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down.
The Buffaloes looking to take advantage of this red zone trip. The give to the back. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Stopping the run is about physicality. It's about I'm bigger than you. I'm stronger than you up front. Really nice job by the defense. Showing their strength. Bowing up. Stuffing the run. Guys, Colorado has the lead here. They're sitting in a strong position here with the lead. Let's take a look at our game summary. When you're dealing with a deficit like this, it's all about somebody stepping up to make a play, and you might as well start here in the fourth quarter. Using the quick game. They'll give him four on that when it's third and six. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands, get it to your playmaker. A lot of times he'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here, but it was still a positive game. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. Leaves it with the back. And he rolls into the house. Touchdown, Buffaloes! The offense flexes its muscle a bit and widens the gap. Take a little exhale. You know, you, you did your job. You got points. Now you put your defense in a position where, hey, go out and get another stop. We're in great shape. So the offense definitely taking care of their business. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point extends the lead to double figures at 10. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And the capper on that drive, the 10-yard touchdown run. Just about set to kick it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. Mistakes are going to happen, as they did on that last drive. Now, how will they respond? Oh, look out! He's at the 40. The 20. And he ran away from the crowd, and he'll take it in. Touchdown, Nebraska! Before that score, considering last rights, now all of a sudden, they're not dead yet. In fact, they're feeling much better, and they're alive, and they've got a chance. And I'm looking on the field right now, I'm looking at their sideline. They're energized, Reese. After that last score, all of a sudden, they believe they can come back and win this game. This is a totally different-looking team than what we saw earlier. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. That's the kind of drive everybody loves. So see quarterback, one snap, put it in the end zone. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Quarterback on the keeper. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. Yeah, and that's exactly what you want to do. Late in the ball game, with the lead, establish the run. Establish the physicality. And you know what helps? That clock up there, it continues to tick. So let's see if they choose to keep the ball on the ground and stay conservative and run that clock. Looking for space. It's Hayden. He had all kinds of company as soon as he got it. He had to fight his way back just to get to the line of scrimmage. All right, so I know the defense is going to be aggressive, right? They got their stop. They forced the third down. How aggressive does the offense want to be in response? Because if I throw the football, get a first down, I can run this clock almost out. This defense has to make a choice. But this offense, how aggressive do you want to be? He'll do it himself. 
He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, this defense knew that they were going to be seeing some option in this game, and right now everybody's doing a nice job playing their assignments. On the third play of that drive, they were expecting it, and everyone communicating and all rallying to the football. That was nice to see it through the coaching staff. And the Buffaloes will send out the punt unit. They'll get down and put a stop to this return. They'll mark it at the 32. And here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field. Boy, that last touchdown, the one play quick strike score. Jesse, this offense hoping to keep that kind of explosive. Can anyone catch it? Running inside the 20. And they pick up a better than 30 yards on that completion before the defense brings him down. After giving up that big shot defensively, how confident are you calling that coverage again? You're now on your own end of the field, and now your backs are against the wall. And, man, this quarterback has had a day. With that pass, he goes over 300 yards on the day. Really nice job executing, putting up some yards today. Pretty good day for the young man. They just changed the dynamic of this possession in a heartbeat, and now it's first and ten from inside the red zone. To the ground with the back. They knock him down after a pickup of four. Ball is at the nine-yard line. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Back to pass, it's Rayola. Can't make the grab as he was looking for his man right at the goal line. Good job in coverage defending their own end zone there because you're trying to compress these windows and make it tough for the quarterback, and they were able to tip that one up in the air, and obviously it falls incomplete. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Touchdown, Cornusker! They've got the lead here in the fourth. And some of these guys make it look so easy, but these are tight windows down here, man. There's not a lot of space on the field, and he drops back, knows exactly where he's going with the football, throws it in there, makes the play, and more importantly, now his team is in the lead in the fourth quarter. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is good, and every point counts. It's now a four-point lead in the fourth. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Off the play fake on first down. Looking deep down the right side. Catch inside the 30 and still running. Touchdown, Colorado. And with that, they move out front here in the fourth. Yeah, and a nice job in the fourth quarter making plays and a nice job being on the same page. QB, receiver. You could tell he broke with the football. He caught it in stride, gets into the end zone. Nice pitch and catch right there. Nice chemistry by the QB and wide receiver. Needs this one to push the lead to a field goal. And he knocks it through, and the lead is a field goal here in the fourth quarter. If only it were always this easy for the offensive coordinators. One play, big chunk yardage, put points on the board just like that. 
Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. The Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. From the gun, the running back has it. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. That is a great play by the defensive end. The most athletic players on the field play defensive end. Yes, you heard me, Jess, Reese, exactly what I said. Great get off, great job getting in the backfield, making the play. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Looking for a man, it's Rayola. Unloads to the wideout. Right on the money to the outside. He dragged the toe, and how about the ball placement? Only the receiver could get it. And there was no question in that scenario. That's where the quarterback was going. He knew he had his receiver in a matchup that he liked, running a route where he would find himself open. Nice job between those two. Looking to go up top on first down. Quickly complete. And they get to him and knock him down to prevent a big game. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field, too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second and five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yarded situations. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. Still running at the 40. They've got the defense reeling right now with that big play to the 29. Busting big runs like this is a total team effort. Obviously, the back has to find the hole, but you got to have everybody around them doing their job to make it a good play call. And everybody around them doesn't just mean the offensive line. The receivers getting their blocks downfield is a big deal, too. It's a huge deal. We always talk about them catching passes, but blocking is so important for their responsibilities. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. You see all this movement in football now, all the stem the defensive line. They're sliding right before the snap, creating confusion for the offensive line. Then they're moving back and stunting. Really good job by the defense. Continue to move, continue to stunt, continue to get in the backfield and make this life hard on this running back. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. You know, I really like this QB running the football because I know he's got a lot of speed, but he's not the biggest guy in the world. So he's not going to be able to break a lot of tackles. you really got to do a good job of trying to scheme ways to get him out in more space. This is the type of play that could be a pivotal moment. Tight game, third and long coming. Looking downfield, it's Rayola. They're trying to get to him. Couldn't find a man and just had to throw it away to avoid a negative play. And after that incompletion on third and long, because of where they are in the field and because they have a narrow lead, you'd expect this team to just go ahead, kick the field goal, and take the points. So now we'll line up for one of the biggest kicks of this game. Well, they've already made one. The holder will put it down at the 38 for a 48-yard attempt. Thought he had it and couldn't get it through the upright. He missed it. And after the miss, they're still down by a field goal. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. A quick strike touchdown up top the last time they had it, Jesse. They'd love to do it again. No doubt. They've got so many playmakers on the perimeter, David. Just find a way to get these guys the ball in space. Yeah, and you already started, man. Making that big play, opening up this offense. This quarterback is feeling good about himself. I wouldn't be surprised if they give it right back to him. Clock continues to run, and they'll be happy to wind it all the way down before they snap it. On second down, he's looking downfield. Got his man! He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. It's 
So the offense accepts the roughing the passer penalty and they get a new set of downs. Back to pass, it's Sanders. Oh, what a spectacular layout and catch. Let me tell you, this senior quarterback can flat fit it in a tight window. Over 100 yards receiving, and he's doing it in style, David. And the defense has no answer. Now you're going to break that out of me? You're going to lay out, catch the football? I mean, insane body control. He's shown you a little bit of everything, and this defense has had enough. Ball spotted at the 27. It's first and 10. Quick pass on the jet motion. Good pick up on that play. It'll bring up second and four. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. On second down, let's see if they go right back to the run and put this game on ice. On the ground, trying to pull the plug on this clock. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. Yeah, and I'm not surprised. I mean, you put the ball in your best player's hands. Like, late in the game, you've got to trust your guy. I'm interested to see what they do here on third down coming up. Let's call it third and interesting, right? Top clock ticking down. Do I trust my QB to throw the football? I got the lead. I want that clock to continue to roll. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. And the Buffaloes with the first and ten. Quarterback's just going to take a knee. 